Hello everybody and it's Gabby and it's time to grab out some books. Yay! It's been a really long time. Um, just there's no reason why I just clearly am not good at the whole recording and keeping up with it. But hopefully I'll start doing that a little bit more. Um, I'm going to be participating in the Spookathon hosted by um, Lala and Books and then there are two others who I'm drawing a blank on but I will post their links below with their um, with the link to the videos that they do. They're promoting it now. It's I believe the week of October 17th to October 23rd but it's just like reading creepier books around this time of year because hello it's October. Um, but I'm really excited to participate in that. Hopefully that'll keep me like going with my reading. Um, I did hit a reading slump, which I posted a video about two weeks ago. I really didn't get out of it too, too much, but um, I do appreciate those of you that did try to give me a recommendation on it to get out of it. Um, so this is just my September um, wrap up, and then I'm also going to be doing a October TBR, which I've already started some of my TBR for October. Hopefully it will be consistent in that nature, but who knows because yeah. Okay, so the one book that I read was The Grown Up by Jillian Flynn. This was definitely not what I expected it to be. Um, it starts off with this woman who is working kind of in, in a in a psychic like place and um, she's actually also a or like a therapist in the back but it's definitely more into it it's more involved something that's illegal to be happening so they have the psychic business at the front and when she develops car I believe it's carpal tunnel she's put more in the front and then she meets this woman who swears up and down that her something's wrong with her son or her stepson but it turns out that she's saying that she thinks it's the house that is the reason for her stepson to be acting so weird. So this woman goes to the house to like kind of scam this woman out of even more money. I believe her name is, um, so the woman is Susan Burke. And then the one who is actually like the massage therapist, I can't remember her name. Um, but she turns out to go into this house and she gets a little bit of a vibe, but again, she's only there to scam. So she goes and she goes for months at a time and just throughout the whole experience, the stepson starts like saying, you're going to die, you're going to this, blah, blah, blah. So throughout the entire time that she's there, she's scamming this woman, Susan, out of her money. But then at the end of the whole story... The stepson comes up and says that this woman, Susan, has been scamming her and is actually going to kill both the stepson and the woman, the psychic, because she wanted the money and now she's going to call the police and say that this woman trespassed and then killed her stepson and then the woman had to save the day. So this woman goes, she takes the stepson with her and then it ends with like this th like thing and you just don't know who to believe in which hopefully I didn't spoil too too much of it and if I did I'll put like I'm just gonna put a disclaimer on there and say stop listening because I clearly just spoiled everything so this was by Jillian Flynn um it was definitely a quick easy read it was only 62 pages I believe um I finished this in one night and this definitely pulled me out a little bit of my reading slump so this wasn't the first book I read in September but it was the first one that was on my pile so okay whatever okay all right so then the next one was we were liars by E L or E Lockhart goodness gracious me um but this follows the Sinclairs on their summer vacation they go to this private island that the grandfather owns and the liars are the four cousins and you find out that some big traumatic experience happened to the main character whose name is Bonnie and Gate. And then there's Marion and then it is, which is Katie. Um, so Cadence is actually the one who it's, it's, it's from her point of view and you know that Something happened, there was an accident, and now she's completely changed than how she used to be when she was younger. And you don't really know what happened until the end, which is this big twist that everybody was talking about. 
However, I saw a movie that was very similar to The Big Twist. Um, if you're watching and you want to read this book, don't listen any further because I'm going to possibly spoil it for you. If you have seen, hopefully you stopped watching if you don't, if you want to watch or if you want to read this. Um, but if you have seen The Uninvited, this is definitely what it follows. It follows a girl who has gone through a traumatic experience that she technically caused but didn't really want it to happen to three of the other four. Um, so the Sinclairs go to the private island and then the grandmother dies so then all of the aunts are fighting over the money and the house and this and that. So the cousins, which are the kids of the family, they're really upset that there's this, this much fighting about everything so they decide that they're going to burn down their grandfather's house just to get rid of all the arguments while well, in the process just like the uninvited if you've seen that movie which spoiler alert so if you're still listening just fast forward a little bit probably fast forward about three minutes and then you can continue watching so they actually burn down the house but in the process cadence she's downstairs and she burns everything while the other three one's downstairs in the basement and then the other two are upstairs she actually ends up kind of unintentionally killing her cousins and she forgets all about it until the very end when she realizes that she's only envisioned like seeing their ghosts so she sees their ghosts throughout the entire summer and the one thing that gave it away for me was the fact that the cousins were never going to the big house for dinner and everything and they the aunts are not really like mentioning the fact that their children are not there or anything so this was definitely a good read but the the twist wasn't very like, oh my gosh, I didn't see that one coming, but maybe it's because I saw The Uninvited. So this was definitely a good read. If you haven't read it, you should definitely check it out, and hopefully if I spoiled it for you, you still want to read it. Suicide from Beautiful Girls by Lynn Wengarden, and it follows a girl, it follows a girl whose old best friend has um, supposedly committed suicide, and now the way that she committed suicide, which was by fire, she knows that her friend Delia wouldn't do it that way because as a kid, she was always terrified of it. So it just follows, they, it follows June and her mission to figure out what happened to Delia. And along the way, she finds out more about Delia than she thought. They stopped being friends a year prior to everything because of unforeseen circumstances and there's a big twist at the end, which I won't ruin this one for you, just because I've ruined the other two, and this is not a spoiler alert video, so womp womp. So anyways, this was definitely a decent read. Um, it was a little slow paced at first, but then once I got towards the end, I couldn't put it down. Um, it's a young adult, so it was definitely, I think, this, I mean, two out of my five were young adults so that was a little different for me so that could also be why I wasn't like completely thrilled with them I'm not a big like young adult fan and you guys know that about me um but still it was a decent read if you haven't checked it out and you're into like that type of thing it's kind of a mystery and it definitely has some like young adult themes to it I guess so it's definitely a decent enough read the next one that I read I don't have it was The Walking Dead Volume 25, I believe. It was very lackluster. Um, Robert Kirkman really let me down on this one. There's really not a whole lot went on. Um, I honestly couldn't even tell you what happened. I just know that Negan comes back into play in this one and he's still locked up, but that's basically it. Like, there's not a big thing to it. It's just them. It's basically following them, preparing to get ready for the next episode or the next um volume so I guess this one was more of a filler so the next one is the the big um book which is Grimm's Fairy Tales Omnibus by Joe Brescia and Ralph Tedesco and I'm gonna put this down because it's so freaking heavy um but I talked about this in my TBR from the last video and it's just basically following a woman named Sella who has this magic ability and she doesn't really age. I mean, she is, but she's not. So she has this book of fairy tales, and 
she kind of has to help people change their morals with the books. She has to give them like a specific fairy tale to look at. So you have some that were referenced to Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Um, there's another one that they referenced them to Beauty and the Beast. And it's just a bunch of different fairy tales. I have the next two volumes. Um, I probably would never do an, a, an omnibus that's... Um, kind of set up this way just because if you can see all of these have fallen out and it, I was very careful with it this was also bought new so I don't or bought used and it wasn't like this so I don't know if the person before just didn't open it but it's very hard to keep it together um I mean you can see how it's art like these pages are falling out so that was my biggest biggest like uh, about just because I it got annoying to hold it up like I had to hold it basically like this and keep it kind of closed otherwise it would fall out I mean every time I move it it's just breaking even more um otherwise like the actual content of it was fantastic and I did like their spin on their fairy tales and how they incorporated the fairy tales into everything so I am excited to read the next two volumes of this which is volumes 9 and 10 and then I'll probably give it a break before I get the next two volumes. So hopefully this wasn't like a waste of your time and hopefully I didn't spoil too much for you. Um, but this is definitely my like little thing to get out of my reading slump and again thank you for my followers that did help me out a little bit with it. Um, so until my next video, see ya!